<laughs> Hai What's going on? Um, thank you for everyone that commented on my last video. I understand that it's not um, music related or anything like that. So, you know, if you watched it and enjoyed it, that's cool. That's really cool. I thought just to keep the groove of making videos, feeling it out, uh, just make another conversational kind of vlog and. You know, if anyone has any questions, topics I should cover, that'd be kind of funny. Uh, if uh, I just talked about those. So, uh, if you think there's anything that I might, I might have an interesting take or you, you, you'd be interested in hearing about it from me, that'd be, that'd be swollen my end. That would, that would make this a lot easier because, you know, what uh what is there to talk about today? Hmm. I guess I'll just talk to you guys about my dog. So I mean, that seems kind of could be kind of funny. Oh no, they don't like the camera. Shucks. Well, I guess we can talk about the dogs another day when they're less. Uh, afraid. Ooh. Alright, bye guys. Peace. Smell ya. Later. So what could we talk about? Um... I guess one thought I had with, um all this I guess Elon Musk mania with the SNL and the Dogecoin was I was thinking about the term hype the term that I think gets used a lot to describe what's trending I guess trend is another way to put it and I well so more so hype getting conflated with trend being trendy um, I think that it's not the healthiest way to uh, approach um, how one moment I'm trying to I feel like this is the jumping off point for the rest of um, the talk about this so I want to sort of nail it and more so um, over the course of this time of, uh, of isolation and, and, and sort of the sort um, I feel like everything has been that is like inter interesting or worthy of conversation has sort of all collapsed together to like one thing where I mean, for the first time ever, I feel like there's an increasing amount of things that, like, people my age, people of another age, of a different area, we're all sort of talking about the same, like, three things, seemingly at times. For example, um, I really think, I mean, I think the best example is the Dogecoin stuff and things like that, and... I guess I just want to talk about how just because something's important or seemingly important because really it's not it's trendy um, that you don't necessarily need to subscribe to it keep track of it um, unless you view it as worthwhile truly but um, I think if you're seeing something <laughs> that is more or less engineered to give you what what um, a lot of uh, you know social media people call uh, a fear missing out that's what is trying to be elicited um, with a lot of this um, things that you see on your feed that you didn't directly search or 
interact with it just it's kind of there always just permeate like constantly just stuck there like pretty much on any given site unless you use you know something you use sort of add on some sort of extension that you know kind of blocks things out um, but that's like hard to do on your phone so you're gonna run into it and the, th the thing about following things that are sort of created with this fear of missing missing out notion is it's not that deep but the f the f you know the first word is fear in that and I don't know about you but having some sort of fear is it, to me it seems like a negative emotion a, a negative response you know that co sort of you know creates sort of m more of a unpleasant or unhealthy feedback loop where you feel like you need to be a part of something <laughs> because you might miss out on the trend in contrast I would rather be into and exploring things that are more coming from within and that in the in the in a term of hype I think the true term that hype should be regarded as you know in, in the way we in our lexicon is you know if you are hype about something it's like the genuinely positive emotion of excitement not the you know negative emotion of missing out on like a an immediate short opportunity and I think this is a part of what I didn't enjoy so much about sometimes doing the dance music reactions is um, I mean you could probably you could see it in, in the video is there's you know hype about a project hype about you know this um, artist or whatever or this comeback usually usually I mean always this <laughs> that the oh like you know this DJ from whatever year oh he's back on this one it's like nah, nah not really um, that's never really the case but you know it's like okay to not feel like you need to like follow a trend or elicit be eliciting the same emotions um, as others you know in contrast what I would describe as like good hype true hype would be you know when you listen to a song um, that elicited elicits a pure positive emotion and you know one for me would be a musician by Porter Robinson um, I'm sure all of you guys have I mean if you're listening to this channel you probably have heard this project in some capacity and um, I mean the whole project is fantastic now that it's all come out but when I heard that song in particular what got me excited was if you you know listen to his music more importantly his you know interviews um, you get the idea that Porter's a pretty you know self-conscious somewhat anxious guy and sometimes I think he sh shines best as a human and an artist um, is when he's in actually enjoying himself and he's having like genuine fun and it seems like it's somewhat difficult for him to do sometimes. Um, but but when he does have fun, he's like the waviest guy. He's the coolest. He does like you know. He just he just has just such brilliant fun ideas. Um, so that's what you know got me hyped about musician. Now, is that truth about that song something that you know? would be considered hype in any sort of you know social media context definitely not but that's what I'm looking for now right I think that's what other people are looking for like you know essentially what I'm trying to say is if if everything all of your interests and all the things you you know consume are based off of you know Twitter you know posts that you know 
are more or less contro uh, controlled by engagement and clicks and things like that, then um, I think you're missing out on something. At least that's that's how I felt a little bit. Because it doesn't it it you don't need to do that. You don't need to subject yourself to that. Like again, it's only the fear missing out. It's only the fear that is the worthwhile pursuit of of that in a sense. Not. But if you actually care about it, then it then it's it's the whole shebang, the whole cake is is exciting and enjoyable. Another example that's a new J. Cole album. Like there was some hype around it, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed a hungry, rejuvenated J. Cole with some other producers, other um, features to round out his already um, amazing artistry. So, yeah, I don't know how I got, <laughs> we got into a rant about hype. I hope that made sense. Really, it's just, um, people are generally, this whole, you know, technology, social media, people are trying to kind of, or they're encouraged to kind of reframe, like, what's important, and that's something that you have to really decide for yourself or others will decide, decide it for you um which is cool i guess i um no it's, it's not cool it's not at least not to me it's not it's not um a fun thing for me hmm so let me know in the comments if you have any things that got you hyped in the past you know month or so like genuine hype not like you heard from this thing and it's like oh I'm hyped for this but it's like you internally were like fucking thrilled about it I'd be interested to see what those are um and yeah thank you for getting this in this, in this video if you did um I completely understand that I'm not the most uh coherent conversationalist with a, a camera but uh, got to start somewhere. Uh, you definitely have to, yeah, just start somewhere. And I guess I'll get more into that into another video. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.